In this question, a uniform cylindrical pulley of mass capital M and radius capital R can freely rotate about the horizontal axis O. The free end of a thread tightly wound on the pulley carries a dead weight A at a certain angle alpha. It counterbalances a point mass M fixed at the remove the pulley. Find the frequency of a small oscillations for the arrangement. तो इसमें गिवन है कि अल्फा एंगल पे जब ये मास है यहाँ पे तो सिस्टम इक्लिब्रियम में है तो इक्लिब्रियम का मतलब कि किसी का कोई एक्सलरेशन नहीं होगा ना कोई लीनर एक्सलरेशन ना कोई एंगुलर एक्सलरेशन तो फॉर इक्लिब्रियम सिचुएशन सपोज टेंशन इन द स्ट्रिंग इज टी एंड मास इज नॉट गिवन फॉर दिस सपोज आई एम एज्यूमिंग द मास इज एम तो इट इज़ एम वन सो टेंशन इज इक्वल टू एम वन and for this pulley this tension is like this so pulley and some string and tension is like this the weight of this mass will be mg i am writing the equation for net torque for this pulley system and with this mass net torque should be zero if this is in equilibrium and net torque is balanced about this point o about this point the torque will be due to this tension and this mg so torque due to this tension is t into r and this t into r will be in the clockwise direction so it will be clockwise it should be balanced by the anti clockwise torque produced by this mg and this is equal to mg multiplied by the perpendicular distance on the line of action so this will be the perpendicular distance on this line of action so this distance will be this angle is alpha and this will be r sin alpha to so mg is r sin alpha so tension from here this will be anti clockwise torque so tension from here will be t is mg sin alpha and this mg sin alpha must be equal to m1g so m1g is equal to mg sin alpha this g is cancelled and m1 is m sin alpha so this dead weight m1 is equal to m sin alpha from this equation now to find the frequency of a small oscillations let us rotate this pulley by a very small angle so i am rotating this pulley by a very small angle in the clockwise direction and after rotating suppose after rotating this mass reaches here i have rotated this by a very small angle theta now the mg will pass from here and after releasing here from here i am assuming the angular acceleration of this pulley is in the anti clockwise direction and that anti clockwise angular acceleration will try to bring back this mass at this location and pulley will tend to rotate in the anti clockwise sense suppose this angular acceleration i am assuming this is equal to beta tension will be changed now tension is changed to t des and this will accelerate if i am assuming beta in this direction then it will accelerate in this direction and acceleration should be equal to beta into r since there is no slipping here so this will be equal to beta into r now writing the equations again so now i am writing the equation for torque for this system so torque created by this mg because in it is in the anti clockwise direction so i am writing this first mg now this perpendicular distance will be equal to sin theta plus alpha torque produced by this t' s will be in the clockwise direction i am taking this as negative and it will be t' s into r this is equal to to so net torque is equal to i into angular acceleration moment of inertia into angular acceleration moment of inertia for this system about this axis so it is a cylindrical pulley and this cylindrical pulley has mass capital m 
so mass of this police capital m moment of inertia is m r square by 2 moment of inertia for this mass so perpendicular distance is obviously radius it is a small m r square multiplied by the angular acceleration beta here one r will be there it is r sin theta plus alpha so one r is cancelled from all the terms suppose this is equation number one now linear acceleration equation for this mass this is accelerating upwards i am writing t dash minus m1 into g and this m1 we have calculated equal to m sin alpha it is mg sin alpha so net force is equal to mass into acceleration mass is m1 and that m1 is m sin alpha acceleration i am writing beta into r add these two equations so on adding 1 and 2 this t dash will be cancelled and on addition we can write it as this mg can be taken as common and it will be sin theta plus alpha minus sin alpha and this is equal to from here one r will be common and beta will be common and this will be m by 2 plus small m plus m sin alpha beta multiplied by r now our next steps will be we have to calculate this angular acceleration and this angular acceleration should be in terms of this small displacement theta we are using trigonometry for this expression it is sin c minus sin d and sin c minus sin d is 2 cos c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2 so using that formula 2 cos c plus d by 2 so it will be theta plus 2 alpha by 2 and sin c minus d by 2 it will be sin theta by 2 here all the terms are exactly 1 plus sin alpha this beta into r now further in this expression sin theta by 2 theta is very small we can write sin theta by 2 is equal to theta by 2 this can be written as since theta is very small so i am neglecting this theta here and it will be simply cos alpha so finally it is mg cos alpha this 2 multiplied by theta by 2 it will be only theta this is equal to m by 2 plus m 1 plus sin alpha beta into r and this beta can now be written as mg cos alpha divided by r common m by 2 plus m 1 plus sin alpha multiplied by theta and comparing this with beta is equal to omega squared into theta so this expression will be the square of angular frequency so angular frequency for this motion will be omega is equal to under root of mg cos alpha or m by 2 plus m 1 plus sin alpha so this will be the expression for omega the angular frequency and to find the frequency f is equal to omega divided by 2 pi so this will be the final answer to this problem